Welcome back to Kex 105.5. Turtle and Mike here filling in for Sean this morning. It's uh, 7.45 and it's 35 degrees outside the studio. If you're going to be in at 8, you got 15 minutes. Well, we have a guest in the studio this morning, uh, Mr. Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency. And he's going to be talking to us, hopefully with some uh, words of wisdom for the insurance world. Mike, I know I just met you for the first time and... I was uh, planning on asking you something today, and I hope it's all right to be off the cuff. I hope so. I hope you can handle it. I'll try. (laughs) All right. Well, you know, everybody is talking about the holiday season, etc. This time of year, you get kind of tired of the music sometimes. But I know there has to be something we're missing that is a concern in the insurance, in your insurance needs this time of year versus June. Is that something that folks are missing or we should talk about? Uh, honestly, there's not much at play here uh, between the between the seasons, really, uh, other than thinking about any higher value items that might be getting put onto a Christmas list that will be purchased that you may want to discuss better insurance, maybe a snowmobile or an ATV or something like that, but not a lot of foot there. Okay. Um, well, I thought maybe, you know, folks getting a, an animal uh, for Christmas, you have to... I heard that you have to let your insurance agent know if you got a dog or something like that. It's advisable, for sure, because uh, there's a, some companies have dog lists. Actually, most companies have dog lists. And what is, what's a dog list? A dog list is the, the companies will have a list of dogs that they do not want to insure. So th- uh, dogs like pit bulls, Presta Canarias, Rottweilers. Some companies put German Shepherds on there. Some companies even put some of the bigger breeds on there as well. So uh, something to consider uh, along the way, for sure. So my Mastiffs are something I should probably talk about. Bull Mastiffs, uh, some only a few companies have them on the list, and I think it's just because of the just the pure size, not the aggressiveness of the dog, because the way to consider this is an insurance company is there to protect you, and if your dog injures somebody and that person is now hospitalized, out of work, and uh, you're now liable for their injuries, there could be some real money at play here because of your dog, which is why they want to have some level of, of understanding of what you have. All right, that's kind of interesting. You know, I I know there's certain times of the year where we do things like check the batteries in our smoke detectors at the clock changes, things like that. Sure. I remember my folks used to uh, actually have a sit-down right after the first of the year with their insurance man, uh, talk about any changes in the new year. It might just be their habit, or I don't know if it's a standard thing that folks do, but... um, It's advisable, for sure. You know, a lot of people with a home or an auto policy, they kind of do the whole set it and forget it attitude. So your parents, they may have have initially purchased their policy around the first of the year, which is when the renewal is coming up, and maybe every year, just around renewal time, they wanted to kind of just button it up, make sure it's all good. And like anything else, once it becomes a habit, then uh, you get more productivity out of it. Exactly, guess, right? exactly. You know, just like anything in life, you get out of it what you put into it. So it's, uh, you know, the the last the, the, the worst time to learn about something uh, that may not be covered is at the time of loss. So if you have that dialogue, even annually or semi-annually, uh, you're getting a better understanding, which is all good for you. Well, after you had a loss is not the time to find out you should have had coverage. <laughs> exactly. I guess, I guess. We see that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. What is the most, uh, I guess, one of the number one questions folks give you a call about with their uh, coverage? Number one question. Right. Man, there's a million and one. Uh, A lot of people are always asking about uh, the different coverages available on an auto policy. Uh, Believe it or not, the biggest question we get on a regular basis is when people go on vacation to rent a car as to whether or not their auto insurance they have will cover the rental car while they're driving it. Well, what's the answer to that? The answer to that is... It depends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've also heard, and of course we all hear these things, and you, you, you think that it's gospel because your buddy told you or whatever, but like when you rent a trailer, something like that, if it's, I heard that if it was hooked to your vehicle, it's covered by your insurance automatically. It is. Uh, when you're towing something, uh, the liability from your vehicle, the tow vehicle, extends to the unit that you're towing. Now, where that can be a little bit different is if you have a personal auto policy and now you're doing a commercial use and have a, a large, large trailer that's over a certain gross vehicle weight, then you could come into the, you know, some area of, of wanting to have advice before you do it so that you're not surprised. But 99.99% of the time, you'll have that liability there as long as you're not exceeding the limitations of the auto policy. 
And of course, it only takes a few minutes to check on that. Exactly, and we and believe it or not, we don't we we will not say it depends when you call us. <laughs> okay. Because the reason I say it depends is because there's so many companies out there, and they all have their own underwriting rules. So when we're talking about nuts and bolts of one particular policy, we're talking about one company where I can give you a definitive yay or nay. So when you do go and rent that trailer to move your grandmother or whatever, sure, and they offer you some insurance along with it. Uh, yay or nay? Uh, if they're offering coverage for physical damage to that trailer, I would say possibly yay to that because the, here's the thing is that if you cause damage to that trailer through the course of use, they then have the right to charge you for every day that that trailer is out of the, avail you know, the ability to be rented. But the liability portion of it, nay. It's covered by your auto policy. That's good to know. No sense of double dipping and spending the extra money. Exactly. There well, are times where it's not a bad idea to maybe, if it's not huge, to maybe have that additional uh, safety blanket of, of sorts. But uh, always check first. That's a good idea. Well, sometimes you're not buying the insurance, really. You're buying peace of mind. Exactly. Okay. Sleeping at night. Well, uh, as always, uh, when you come in, you're always full of a lot of good information, and I'm sure that there's a thousand other questions we could ask, but if some of the listeners have some questions, how could they reach you? Sure. Give us a call, 748-5224. Visit our website, thebarrettagency.com, or on Google+, Plus, YouTube, and Facebook as Barrett Insurance Agency. Okay, you heard that, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give them a call. I seem very approachable gentlemen, and... As always, thank you for coming in and uh, talking with us. My, my pleasure. Nice to meet you this morning, Turtle. And happy holidays to you and your family and uh, your folks at your agency. Awesome. You too. All right. We're going to come back with some music here on Kicks 105.5 after this break.